Okay, welcome back. Now, I've got a situation here. Remember from the last video, I talked about uh, two different kind of, kinds of graphs. One was called uh, direct variation. This one's increasing. Okay, and the other one was called partial variation, which starts not at the origin like this one, but it starts up here. And it doesn't have to go up, it could go down too. But anyway, this is direct and this is partial. Um, this area right here, we're just going to call our starting point. And the speed that things are happening is going to be called the rate. Now, by the way, when something is really happening fast, if you're doing something very fast, it's going to, the line could go very, very steep, either up or it could go down if something's happening very fast in that way. If something's happening very slow, it might go like this. Okay, not as steep as this line. Later on in this course, we're going to talk about slope and those kinds of things. But for now, we're just going to talk about the starting point and the rate. The rate is how fast something is happening. So let's choose a different color pen here. Let's say that you had to sell tickets to uh, hmm, a concert in Bowmanville. Maybe uh, it's for kids. Let's say it's for the Muppet movie or something like that. You had 40 tickets, and that was where you started. You were given 40 tickets. Okay, time hadn't hadn't started yet. Nobody was starting to count the time. It was just like, okay, 40 tickets. Here you go. So you start selling them, and what you notice is is that you're selling them constantly. You're you're selling them smoothly, so that you're selling the same amount of tickets every 10 minutes. So 10 minutes later, which is right here, 10 minutes later, you have sold five tickets. You now only have 35 tickets left. And you keep doing this you keep doing this for 50 minutes and then you're tired and then you say, I'm going home. All right. Well, notice that this line is actually a straight line. Hmm. I wonder if I could show my straight line here with a let's see. It's actually a straight line going on here. And it keeps going. But for this graph, we're just going to stop at 50 minutes. All right. So what is what do I need to talk about with this line? Well, first of all, as far as the starting point, you already know, the starting point is right here. 40 tickets. But what if they say this? What is the rate that tickets are being sold at? What is the rate? Okay. Well, it's going to be an answer and you're going to say something per something. Well, the y value goes right here. So the y value is tickets sold. Okay. So I'll just put a number sign, number of tickets. And per, well, that's this down here. We could say per minute, we could say per five minutes if we wanted, we could say per 10 minutes. Notice that down here it is going by 10, 20, 30. So let's just say, let's just say per 10 minutes. In this relation here, how many tickets are being sold every 10 minutes. That's kind of what this area here is asking. How many tickets every 10 minutes? Well, look at the graph here, and here's one way to do it. What you can do is you can just make a little triangle, go down there, and then go across to the next dot. It doesn't matter which two you choose. You could pick these two over here, or these two right here doesn't really matter. Look what happens. What's the distance on the y value here? Between 35 and 30, how much is between these two? Well, you should be telling me 5. Between here and here, how much time is going by? 10. And it's the same for each one of these. 5, 10, 5, 10. So basically, what you could say is you are selling 5 tickets, right? Five tickets every 10 minutes. Five tickets every 10 minutes. Okay? That is the rate that you are selling them. 
you could say it how many tickets per minute, and then you could say, well, I could divide the top and the bottom by five. That would's like saying, I'm selling one ticket every five minutes. Oh, hang on, no. Divide these both by five. Notice the mistake I just made? Wow. There we go. Divide them both by five. I'm selling one ticket every two minutes. One ticket every two minutes. But anyway, both of these are rates that are identical. Five tickets every ten minutes is the same thing as one ticket every two minutes. And that goes back to one of the very first lessons you've done in this course. So it's good to check that back again. Now I just want to quickly look at one more thing. Let's say let's say you decided that you, f you forgot and you didn't make your triangle here. You said, I'm going to take any dot. I'm going to take this dot, and draw a line down, go all the way over here. Are you going to get the answer wrong? Well, not if you do it right. The rate would be, well, what's the distance between here and here? 35, take away 15. What is that? 25, 20. This is 20 tickets. How many minutes are we talking here? 10, 20, 30, 40. Be careful, it's not 50 minutes. It's starting right here, not over here. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so you're selling, let's get rid of this here. This is a little confusing here. There we go. You are selling 20 tickets every 40 minutes. Is that the same as the answer we got before? Well, check it out. Reduce this fraction, 20 and 40. What can they both be divided by? Well, they could both be divided by 20. 20 divided by 20 is 1. 40 divided by 20 is 2. You're selling one ticket every two minutes. And that's exactly the same answer we got way back when when I had it written over here, okay? So just make a triangle. You can quickly see the rate at what's going on. One more situation to talk about.